the ceremony momentarily once the live stream is started. Thank you. Good morning, graduates, family members, and guests. On behalf of Major General Michael McCurry, Commanding General, United States Army Aviation Center of Excellence in Fort Novacell, welcome to the graduation ceremony for flight school. Would everyone please stand for the invocation and the playing of the national anthem. Chaplain Nathan Perry will give our invocation. I invite you to join me in prayer. God, thank you for today and for everyone who is here this morning, as well as all those who have gone before to bear witness and carve a path for us to follow. And as we are here in the midst of the rich history of this place, we are thankful for the legacy that has been left behind and the way that has been paved that these soldiers before us today, these aviators, would not only be able to achieve what these greats have achieved, but that they'd be able to stand on their shoulders and achieve even greater things, leaving a legacy of their own for the next generation. And in this, we pray that you would grant wisdom and strength, honor and success to each one here as they turn the page and begin this new chapter in their careers and lives. And we pray these things in your name. Amen. Please remain standing for the playing of the national anthem. Gentlemen, please remove your headdress. Thank you. You may be seated. Please welcome Lieutenant Colonel April Kearney, 1st Battalion, 11th Aviation Regiment. Good morning and welcome to the graduation ceremony for Flight School 21 Class 24-010. Family members, friends, guests, and instructors, thank you for your support in commemorating this tremendous occasion. We are delighted that you were able to celebrate with us this morning. Attending the ceremony representing the United States Army Aviation Center of Excellence are Colonel Jason Woodward, Commander, 1st Aviation Brigade, Colonel Christopher Logston, Deputy Commandant for the Army National Guard and Senior Guard Advisor, Lieutenant Colonel Mark Axtell, Commander, 1st of the 145th Aviation Regiment, Chief Warrant Officer 5, Nigel Hubscher, Command Chief Warrant Officer, 1st Aviation Brigade, Command Sergeant Major John Bonilla, 1st Aviation Brigade, and Command Sergeant Major Joey Dodson, 1st of the 145th Aviation Regiment. We would also like to welcome Colonel Stephen Ruth, Director of the United States Army Task Force Strategic Operations Recruiting Division, Colonel Ricky Peak, United States Army Retired, Chief Warrant Officer 5, Drew Seagraves, Standardization Officer with the Texas National Guard. Thank you for joining us. To our newest Army aviators, congratulations on your accomplishment. In a few minutes, your flight school journey will come to a close and you'll possess the wings you have worked so diligently for. I trust that these wings will always remind you of the legacy of professional aviators, those who trained you, the special community you now represent, and the sacred duty we have to support the ground force. Before I introduce our guest speaker, I'll reiterate the process for pinning our aviators. Your aviator will be called forward, cross the stage, and then stand in front of the stage to await their family and friends. The master of ceremony will cue you by saying, please come forward to pin your aviator. At that time, please come to the stage to pin the wings on your aviator. Take a moment to celebrate this momentous occasion before returning to your seats. 
We have two soldiers posted next to the stage to assist you in taking a group photos. The stage will also be available after graduation to take as many additional photographs as you would like. This is a defining moment in your Army career and one you'll never forget. Congratulations to you all. It's my great pleasure to introduce the guest speaker for today's ceremony. Colonel David Morgan received his commission as an aviation officer in 1999 through the Reserve Officer Candidate School at Stephen Austin State University in Texas. Upon completion of flight school in 2000, he became a UH-60 Black Hawk aviator. During his time in the Army, he received numerous awards and decorations for his service and has served a number of positions throughout his career, including Requirements and Capability Division Chief at the Joint Counter Small Unmanned Aircraft Systems Office, Deputy Chief of Operations Group Alpha Mission Command Training Program, Commander of the 1st Battalion, 228th Aviation Regiment in Honduras, Professor, Professor of Military Science at Lock Haven University, Brigade and Aviation Observer Coach and Trainer Positions at the Joint Multinational Readiness Center, and G3 Executive Officer for the 3rd Army at United States Army Central. He's currently serving as the Director of the Army Capability Manager for LIFT, within the Aviation Capability Development and Integration Directorate under Army Futures Command here at Fort Novacell. Please welcome Colonel David Morgan. Graduates of Flight School 21, Class 2410, faculty and staff, family member and friends, it's an honor to be part of today's commencement ceremony and let me be one of the first to congratulate you and welcome you to all to an elite fraternity. For as Leonardo da Vinci said, once you've tasted flight, you'll forever walk the earth with your eyes turned skyward, for there you have been and there you'll always long to return. Let me tell you as an old aviator, he was absolutely right. Now some of you may have caught earlier, I did say commencement, not graduation. I know the program probably says graduation, but I don't argue that it's a commencement. And for the purpose of this speech, I'd ask you to stay with me. Of course, we're celebrating the end of this particular course, but more importantly, it marks the beginning or the commencement of the next part of your career. Flight school, for all its trials and tribulations, is only a means to an end. It's an investment. I read on the internet that Abraham Lincoln said, give me six hours to chop down a tree and I'll spend the first four hours sharpening the ax. I have no idea if he actually said that, but you get the point, I'm sure. That's really what my um, message is about in a nutshell. This was the Army's attempt to sharpen your ax, to essentially spool you up for the next part of your journey. If you stay in Army aviation long enough, and judging by y'all's ad so, I'd say that's probably a safe bet, then you'll be back here at some point. And when you do, Army aviation and all of our infinite wisdom will undoubtedly heap upon you a few more rocks to put in your proverbial rucksack. But for now, this was your professional starter kit. Flight school was your initial fill in which everything else will build upon as an aviator. So, well, so when I went through flight school back in 1999, flying TH-67s, back then we're all running around and uh, wearing those colored ball caps, which I'm happy to see uh, have made a comeback. Uh, anyway, we were all eager and ready to get after it as platoon leaders, pilots in command, fridge custodians, or whatever the case may be. But our enthusiasm isn't the same thing as capability and the wise among us used our time here at Fort Rucker, now Fort Novacell, to learn, to learn and hone our skills in the cockpit. I remember all the hours spent planning my next day's flight, going over academics with my stick buddy in the tech library, and studying EPs and limits every evening before bed. I'm sure it seemed tedious back then, although I look back on it now with much nostalgia and some level of pride. Because I know that my career was built to an extent on what I learned here. I'm sure it's much the same with you. You spent a year or more going from your nickel ride, your first solo, family day, which is a great event that I'm glad to hear you guys are still able to do, and of course the flying. Contact, instruments, and nights, not to mention all the academics that go along with that flight training. All the studying on your own, with your friends and colleagues, with your significant others. In fact, I'm pretty sure that my wife could spout off my TGT limits if an IP asked her really nicely. But those study sessions, those long hours of flight planning, all of those lessons learned are intended to serve as a foundation to carry you through the next few years in the force where much will be expected of you. Don't flush what you've learned here. Build on it. Go back to the force with the passion and enthusiasm that we expect from our young aviators. 
For many of you, it will be your first opportunity to experience the honor and privilege to be a flyer in Army aviation, and it will undoubtedly be one of the greatest and most rewarding experiences of your professional career. Remember Da Vinci's words, you will forever walk the earth with your eyes turned skyward. So here's where I'll close with a shameless plug about the institutional return on investment. I led with President Lincoln sharpening his ax and describing your experiences over the last year as an investment. Well, if you buy into that, be sure to pay it back. Strive to make your country's investment a good one. The operational environment is more complex every day and we'll need good leaders at the point of execution to do our country's bidding and have called upon to win our nation's wars. I know you're up to the task. This graduation marks the end of your wonderful and for most your initial experience here at Fort Novacell. But as I said, it's only the beginning of the next stage of your careers. And for that, I wish you all tailwinds and clear skies. Forge a future above the best. Thank you, Colonel Morgan, for your inspiring remarks. At this point in the ceremony, we honor those graduates who have excelled in the course. Graduates who are within the top 20% of their class receive special recognition as Commandant's List graduates, honor graduates, or distinguished graduates. The distinguished graduate title is bestowed upon those officers who attain the highest overall scholastic average throughout the entire course of instruction. As the title implies, it is the mark of excellence, representing outstanding achievement in academic and flight endeavor. Each distinguished graduate shall receive engraved sterling silver wings provided by the Army Aviation Association of America, plus an additional gift from the Military Officers Association of America. At this time, I take pleasure in announcing the distinguished graduates from Class 2410. Lieutenant Maxwell Bro. First Lieutenant Bro is active duty and a distinguished graduate. He is a CH-47 Fox pilot. Warrant Officer Robert Lyon. <laughs> W-01 Lyon is active duty and a distinguished graduate. He is a C-12 pilot. Please come forward to pin your aviator. We will now recognize the remaining top 20%. Lieutenant Max Dorman. First Lieutenant Dorman is active duty and an honor graduate. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot. Lieutenant Shane Hickman. First Lieutenant Hickman is active duty and an honor graduate. He is an age 64 Echo pilot. Lieutenant Joseph Maddock. First Lieutenant Maddock is active duty and an honor graduate. He is an age 64 Echo pilot. Warrant Officer Kyle Bullybull. W01 Bullybull is active duty and an honor graduate. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot. 
Warrant Officer Jordan Dean. W01 Dean is active duty and an honor graduate. He is an age 64 Echo pilot. Please come forward to pin your aviator. Warrant Officer Carlin Dorch. <laughs> WO1 Dorch is Army Reserve and an honor graduate. She is a UH 60 Mike pilot and is based out of Colorado. Warrant Officer Aaron Winberg. <laughs> WO1 Winberg is Army National Guard and an honor graduate. He is a UH 60 Mike pilot and is based out of Nebraska. Warrant Officer Zachary Alexander. W01 Alexander is active duty and a Commandant's List graduate. He is a CH-47 Fox pilot. Warrant Officer Ricardo Torres. W01 Torres is active duty and a Commandant's List graduate. He is a C-12 pilot. Please come forward and pin your aviator. Now we will recognize the remainder of the class in alphabetical order by rank. Lieutenant Rory Blankenship. First Lieutenant Blankenship is active duty. She is a UH-60 Mike pilot. Lieutenant Cecil Clauser. First Lieutenant Clauser is active duty. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot. Lieutenant Christian Daniel. First Lieutenant Daniel is Army National Guard. 
He is a UH-60 mic pilot and is based out of Alabama. Lieutenant Mallory Eichen. First Lieutenant Eichen is active duty. She is a C-12 pilot. Lieutenant Jack Fisher. First Lieutenant Fisher is active duty. He is a CH-47 Fox pilot. Please come forward and pin your aviator. Lieutenant Christopher Hensley. First Lieutenant Hensley is active duty. He is a UH-60 mic pilot. Lieutenant Matthew Jabloner. First Lieutenant Jabloner is active duty. He is an AH-64 Echo pilot. <laughs> Lieutenant Justin Jackson. Second Lieutenant Jackson is active duty. He is a UH-60 mic pilot. Lieutenant Preston Curligrand. First Lieutenant Curligrand is active duty. He is an AH-64 Echo pilot. Lieutenant Hunter Makash. First Lieutenant Makash is active duty. He is an AH-64 Echo pilot. Please come forward and pin your aviator. Thank <laughs> you. 
Lieutenant Deanna Ogrintz. First Lieutenant Ogrintz is active duty. She is a UH-60 Mike pilot. Lieutenant Bryce Reed. Second Lieutenant Reed is Army National Guard. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot and is based out of Texas. Lieutenant Mark Salzman. First Lieutenant Salzman is active duty. He is an AH-64 Echo pilot. Lieutenant Yan Shen. First Lieutenant Shen is active duty. He is a C-12 pilot. Lieutenant Cooper Smith. First Lieutenant Smith is active duty. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot. Please come forward to pin your aviator. Lieutenant Elias Utz. First Lieutenant Utz is active duty. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot. Warrant Officer Jacob Bayarano. WO-1 Bayarano is active duty. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot. Warrant Officer Ethan Casperson. W01 Casperson is active duty. He is an AH-64 Echo pilot. Warrant Officer Ryan DeBockler. W01 DeBockler is active duty. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot. Warrant Officer Alyssa DeMatteo. W01 De Mateo is Army National Guard. She is a UH-60 Mike pilot and is based out of Connecticut. Please come forward to pin your aviator.
Warrant Officer John Dorch III. W01 Dorch is Army Reserve. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot and is based out of Colorado. Warrant Officer Dominic Gallo. W01 Gallo is active duty. He is an age 64 Echo pilot. Warrant Officer Justin Graham. W01 Graham is active duty. He is an age 64 Echo pilot. Warrant Officer Mitchell Jecklin. W01 Jecklin is active duty. He is an age 64 Echo pilot. Warrant Officer Davon Jones. W01 Jones is active duty. He is a UH 60 Mike pilot. Please come forward to pin your aviator. Warrant Officer J. Jung. W01 Jung is Army National Guard. He is a UH 60 Mike pilot and is based out of California. Warrant Officer Stephen Kerr. W01 Kerr is active duty. He is a CH 47 Fox pilot. Warrant Officer Andrew Lay. W01 Lay is Army Reserve. He is a UH 60 Mike pilot and is based out of Texas. Warrant Officer John Marchwinski. W01 Marchwinski is Army National Guard. He is a UH 60 Mike pilot and is based out of West Virginia. Warrant Officer Charles Markham. W01 Markham is active duty. He is an age 64 Echo pilot. Please come forward and pin your aviator.
Warrant Officer Alexander McCallum. <laughs> WO1 McCallum is Army National Guard. He is a CH 47 Fox pilot and is based out of Pennsylvania. Warrant Officer Lakian McGee. <laughs> WO1 McGee is active duty. He is a UH 60 Mike pilot. Warrant Officer Mackenzie Nolan. W01 Nolan is Army National Guard. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot and is based out of Montana. Warrant Officer Sebastian Patino Velasco. W01 Patino Velasco is Army National Guard. He is a UH-60 Mike pilot and is based out of Maryland. Warrant Officer Tyler Pollock. W01 Pollock is active duty. He is an age 64 Echo pilot. Please come forward to pin your aviator. Warrant Officer Joshua Phillips. <laughs> W01 Phillips is active duty. He is a CH 47 Fox pilot. Warrant Officer Eric Rawlings. <laughs> W01 Rawlings is active duty. He is a C 12 pilot. Warrant Officer Travis Reed. W01 Reed is active duty. He is an H64 Echo pilot. Warrant Officer Donald Roberts. W01 Roberts is active duty. He is a C12 pilot. Warrant Officer Juan Sepulveda. W01 Sepulveda is active duty. He is a UH60 Mike pilot. Please come forward and pin your aviator.
Warrant Officer Jacob Stacy. W01 Stacy is active duty. He is a UH 60 Mike pilot. Warrant Officer Steve Stewart. W01 Stewart is an active duty. He is a UH 60 Mike pilot. Warrant Officer Nicholas Stover. W01 Stover is Army National Guard. He is a CH 47 Fox pilot and is based out of Ohio. Warrant Officer Brainer Valencia. WO1 Valencia is active duty. He is a UH 60 Mike pilot. Warrant Officer Ryan Valera. WO1 Valera is Army Reserve. He is a UH 60 Mike pilot and is based out of California. Please come forward to pin your aviator. Graduates, please stand. Please join me in a round of applause for the Army's newest aviation warfighter. Everyone, please stand or remain standing for the playing of the aviation song, Above the Best, and the Army song, The Army Goes Rolling Along.
Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the graduation ceremony. Thank you for celebrating with us and enjoy the rest of your day. Class leader, please dismiss the class.